Coral reefs are among the most diverse ecosystems in the world, occupying less than 1% of the ocean's floor. They sustain 25% of the total marine life. However, this high biodiversity is only possible with a healthy coral foundation. It is natural to have some sediments deposited onto coral reefs. Dust particles from the deserts in Africa are carried by wind and deposited into Caribbean waters annually. Rivers also contribute to this deposition through natural erosion. Human activities such as mining, agriculture, and coastal development increase the land-based runoff, which adds to the sedimentation on coral reefs. It is a natural process for running water to erode the land and cause some sediment runoff. However, the introduction of anthropogenic activities such as mining increases the amount of sediment being washed away. Some of these additional particles can be harmful to the biological processes taking place downstream. Now, add in more sediment load from agricultural progress, which often includes harmful chemicals from fertilizers, and combine that existing load with the byproducts of coastal development, and you've got a sediment load that far exceeds natural levels. After the Industrial Revolution, runoff from land-based activities increased exponentially. Each source of runoff contributes to the amount of particulate matter that settles within the corals. These microscopic particles land on the reef and are incorporated into the coral's internal structure, which can have adverse effects on the coral's health. This process of deposition can be harmful to the animal because coral bodies grow new layers of calcium carbonate skeleton each year. These settled particles from both natural and human sources become trapped within each new layer that grows. This contributes to the possibility of a more brittle coral skeleton formation. Due to the possibility of this sedimentation permanently damaging the coral, there has been recent investment in research. In order to identify the types and amount of sediment that is trapped within the corals, a diver must drill into the coral and remove a core. Strong microscopes allow us to view the trapped particulate matter and identify the types of materials that are being incorporated into the corals. Overall, the health of our oceans is dependent upon the fitness of coral reefs and their ability to form a resilient foundation. Better understanding the activities that adversely affect these reefs will lead to more effective conservation in the future.